Lansing, Indiana. I'm Rebecca from Brownfield, and I'm here in Delville, Indiana at the 10th annual Autumn Fest. Ten years ago today marked the first time we've ever had Autumn Fest here in Delville. It's grown immensely over the years, and it has been a fabulous transition. I had the opportunity earlier today to speak with some people on the committee and the police enforcement officers about what Daleville means to them. With lots of new attractions, more vendors, and a favorable forecast for this weekend, Daleville Autumn Fest kicks off today. Emily Ashton, who works on the committee, is grateful for her time spent in this community. We all have an invested interest in the town. It's it's a big it's a big deal. Most of the committee has lived there for a long time. I mean, there's a couple people that have grown up there, so. You know, we're we're all really, really into what Daleville is doing, and we are very supportive of the town council and the things that they are doing. As town council pushes forward to make Daleville a family-oriented destination, Chief of Police James King has watched Daleville grow from what it used to be 16 years ago to now, which houses about 1,600 people. The whole community is, is actually starting to grow now. And, you know, I, I take that from the citizens of this community that, you know, they, they put the effort back in. They love their community. Ashton says that effort from the community is what makes Delville one of a kind. It's home. Which, you know, that's how it is for a lot of people. It's so moving. Such a passionate community come together. You can ride rides. You can buy things from vendors. You can also play ring talk or paint pumpkins for $3. Such a great feel here at Delville currently. 